Hey guys, uh, so this is the video about uh, Catalon platform configuration and uh, Catalon Studio configuration. If you have never utilized Catalon and uh, wondering where to download, how to download, how to configure uh, Catalon. So this is the video for you. Uh, so there are two steps to the configuration process. First one is a Catalon platform. You need to configure in the cloud um, on the Catalon website. Uh, there is a Catalon platform. You need to configure that first. And the second part is a Catalon Studio on your machine. Uh, once you configure uh, both things, then you will be able to start writing the test and uh, so forth. So first of all, uh, let me walk you through step by step. You can follow the video and start configuring on your own. So I'm gonna go to the catalon.com. And uh, since we don't have account here, I'm going to click on start free trial. Now, what this one does is it gives you 30 days uh, for the Catalon platform. Uh, yeah, so that uh, so Catalon platform will be available for you fully featured for 30 days. There, is a, there are things that you can do with that. And if you are especially, if you are learning, uh, I think 30 days should be good enough for you. And once the trial expires, you can always create a brand new account and uh, start working through it. So let me go ahead and click on the start free trial here. And at this point, I don't have logins. This is the first time I'm logging in. So I'm going to click on sign up. And I'll say my name here. My type my email. Password. And uh, you, okay, traffic lights. Now click on start testing. Hopefully this one should go through and your account should be created. So let's give a few seconds here. All right, so we are in, um, in the Catalon platform. Now, before you do that, uh, obviously it sends you email to verify that you are the genuine person. So um, I have my email open here and I'm just looking in there. I just received the email. So verify Catalon. So I'm going to click on verify my account. All right. Uh, so verify the account. Got verified. You can download Studio from here or you can go to the platform. So let, let me go to the platform here. You can obviously start download. Does not matter. But I'm going to show you some things uh, that you need to configure as part of the Catalon platform. Uh, so once we configure the Catalon platform, then we'll download the studio. So I'm going to access Catalon uh, platform, which is a cloud platform, and it organizes all your test suites, uh, your projects, and everything else. Okay, so it's asking me a few things here. So I'm just going to say I'm a manual tester, and uh, you need to select a few things. Download Studio Explorer, a simple example, and this and that. So let's see, we can click on Download Studio. Okay, let's explore Catalan platform. You can explore on your own time. So I'm going to click on Close. And I will close this window as well. You can watch it if you need. Um, okay, so here on the left side, you have a download, uh, but before we download, there are a few things we need to configure. So let me just quickly show you here what these things are. Okay, so there's a planning. Um, you, you will see a bunch of tabs here, uh, tests, execution reports, visual testing settings, all kind of stuff. Let me come down here. There's some Jira integration available and uh, so forth. Now the important part is the project. So here, the first project, which comes with the platform, which is a default project for you, is some sample project over there. And there's an organization created by default, whatever organization, uh, uh, there will be one organization created for you and one project. Now sample project, um, if you want to play around, you can use it, but uh, what we are going to do here today is we are going to create a brand new project. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click view all projects. We are going to create a brand new project for our testing. And uh, since I'm working on Rflow, uh, so I'm going to create a, click on create project. It will ask you for a team here. You can create a new team. So let me go ahead and create a, create a new team here first. And I'll just say Rflow team and click on create. Team is nothing but the team members. You can add many team members who can work on your projects. But I'm going to go back to the projects. And now I'm going to click on create project. And uh, here I have choose team. So I'm going to select our phone, click on next. And uh, we'll create a project as our phone as well. So you created a team uh, or team members as our phone and uh, your project as name as our phone. So I can see here both are created. I can uh, add many users to my team here and uh, who, are, who I want to access my project, I can keep on adding. But let's not worry about that. We will go back to the project here and uh, we'll configure additional things. Okay, so here my project is created, but it is not yet configured, okay? So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the project settings. This is important because you need to configure your project uh, with the Git, GitHub. Okay, so um, let me go to the settings here. And uh, you need to have the, <clears throat> so here I'm in the settings. There are users, it shows few things. We are not going to worry about that. We are worried about this repository integration. And uh, this is where you will have to script repositories tab. This is where you want to configure, connect with the Git repository. So what this one is, um, as you are developing your test cases and twist sheets, it generates a bunch of code. So when you create a create Git repository, Everything, all the source code you can store in the Git repository um, and um, so forth. So that is very important. Without that, you would not be able to store your code into the, or, or share your code among the team members and so forth. So this is important step. So how I access it, I am on the project settings. I'm clicked on the script repositories and I'm connecting to Git repository. Now here, when you click on that, there are two options. Obviously, you, Catalan comes with a sample repository, but unfortunately, you cannot do much with the sample repository, okay? So uh, we will create our Git repository from scratch. So I'm going to click on create a new Git repository. And uh, here, it needs a GitHub URL, your repository URL, your repository login, personal access token, and uh, so forth. So how do we get this information from the GitHub? There are various options here, but we are going to use GitHub Cloud. So that is important part. You need all this information in order to connect your Catalan platform to the GitHub project or GitHub repository. So what I'm going to do is since I don't have it, so I need to go ahead and create my GitHub repository first. So at this point, I'll open a new browser window and I'll go to the github.com. And here I'll say sign up. Again, I'm configuring everything from scratch. And so I'm going to enter my email, intellix september qa 2023 at gmail.com. This is my email. Okay, I'm going to create a password. And it's strong. Click continue. And I'm going to give the same username, Intellix September QA 2023, so that I remember. Okay. Click to receive product upgrade via email. You can say yes, no, whatever you want. Click continue. 
Okay, so now you need to to protect your account, solve the puzzle. So you need to play some game. So let's see, verify, and uh, watch the angle. Okay, so this looks like a good angle. I'll submit. And I'll say create account. All right, so now it lets you create account. Okay, so it sends the code again to my email. So let's see what I received. So I see GitHub launch code. So I'm going to copy GitHub and see if I can paste it. And that's it. Uh, it's your end. Now, if you can personalize everything, but I'm going to skip personalization for the GitHub because I'm interested in configuration and uh, quickly moving on to the other things. Okay. So here, a few important things. There is a new repository. You can, uh, by default, it's a private. Um, so you can share with your team members and so forth. It will not be accessible publicly. But for the demo purpose, I'm creating the, I'm going to switch it to public. So anybody can connect to my GitHub repository. Okay. And I'm going to name it as Artflow here. And click on create. All right, so this is important thing. So it gives you this URL. This is the important part, okay? So when you go to the sign up or when you actually go to the, let's see where it, this is the repository URL, okay? So this is this URL you can copy and uh, you can put it on notepad somewhere, okay? And uh, save it. Or you can go to, if you have your repository URL open for the Rflow uh, platform uh, for project setting, then I can just come here and paste it. I can uh, paste my username for GitHub, which is in Celex September QA 2023. Okay, so this is the second part. So username. GitHub URL, and now the third part, personal access stack token. All right, so how do I get it? So personal access token is nothing, uh, you will need that along with the username and repository URL. So I'm going to flip back to the here. And uh, before I do that, I need to create one branch here. Okay, so, all right, let me go to create a personal access token URL first. So you go to this icon here on the top right corner, which is nothing but your uh, username and bunch of things here. I'm interested in getting the personal access token, so I'll go to the settings. Settings, uh, this is where you can get personal access token from. So let me access that. And... Uh, I come here, scroll down all the way to the developer setting. All right, and uh, here you will see three things. This is the personal access token. And uh, go to click on tokens. And it says personal access token, okay? And I'm going to generate a new token. Generate new token. Click on that and just say Airflow and students. Okay, and the expiration is important. Let me set no expiration for the token. And uh, going to set some uh, permissions. So I'm going to say repo status. Invite security events, read it, right? Says commit status, full control of private repositories, write packages, upload packages, delete packages. Okay, uh, workflow. So I'm going to check those three settings here. And uh, that's it. 
full control of the project, read access of the projects, um, and all of the things. I think uh, it should work what you have now. Okay, so I'm just going to those three top three items. Access public repository, access reported invitation, read write security event, deployment status, commitment status, action workflow, upload packages, and uh, so forth. I'm not giving delete permission. And uh, that's it, and click on generate token. So this is important, I'm going to copy again, copy. And I'm going to go to the notepad and I'll say PAT personal access token. This is what it is. Now I'm going to access my GitHub, paste the token here and click on connect. All right, so this is where, okay, so no branch is selected here. Oops, uh, yep, there you go. So there is no branch here. So I think if we click on create, let's see if it uh, does it. So it's there is no nothing in the repository. We have to create a branch first. So right now there's nothing there, so we are not able to connect. So I need to go back and uh, GitHub and let's access my repository here. So this is my repository, right? This is what I'm accessing. Now let me go and add, uh, go ahead and uh, we need to set up a branch. So the way you can do it is create a new file or you can upload existing files. So I'm going, just going to create a new file. And I'll just say test, name your file test.txt. And I'll say commit changes, commit changes. All right, so now you see here is the main branch created and that's all you need uh, for that. So if I go back to the code here, I'll see one file created in my branch. So let me go back here. And I'm going to access repository again. And I see one file here. Okay, so that is part of my repository. Uh, so if I go back here, and if I click connect again, now I see main branch here. So at this point, I'm ready to create uh, connectivity between uh, Catalan platform and, uh, and the GitHub. So click on create. And it says done, it might take a while for your test suite collection to solve. All right, so it is, everything is hooked up properly. Now you are ready to download. Uh, at this point, our cat clone platform is configured properly. And uh, you are ready to download Catalyst Studio and you should be able to develop, write, write the test uh, and uh, share the, publish your source code to the, or save your source code to the GitHub uh, as part of the publishing process. So let's go back to the dashboard again. And here, on the dashboard, I'm on the Airflow. And this icon, this is where you can download the studio. All right, so I'm gonna click on there. And it says Catalan, Catalan Studio Enterprise and Studio Runtime Engine. You can download whatever version is available. Uh, it's 9.0 right now. Uh, and this is what will allow you to build complete test, test suite, including all different variety of features and functionality in your test case and test suite for automation. Okay, so let me go back to the dashboard and click on download. And I'm going to click on download here. All right, so it might take some time, so we will come back and uh, second part of the video, I'll show you how to configure it.